Whenever I try to talk, my voice <laughs> my voice cracks for some reason. Hi. Uh it's been a while since I did something on my channel. Uh the reason for that is <laughs> we got uh an uninvited guest in our home and uh, we all three of us in the family here got really sick uh, so it has been a while and I have not had energy to <coughs> make something <laughs> you hear my voice cracks already I'm so sorry um, uh, but I have been trying to go back to do something with YouTube, but uh, like I said, no time, no energy, and I did try to make a video before I got sick. I was a little bit sick after my third sh shot of the vaccine, but uh, yeah, I w no, it was just... When I did that recording, I wasn't really that happy when I was edi editing it. I wasn't really happy how I sounded. I sounded very... I sounded very tired and... Yeah, yeah, I wasn't too happy with it, but... <clears throat> I am gonna have so much trouble with my voice today. It's been a while, like I said. It's talking at all like um <laughs> i've lost my ability to talk but anyway as you can see on the screen we have starshine legacy uh this is going deep into my childhood this was my favorite game of all time this came out 2005 when i was seven years old so this is real nostalgic nostalgia for me. It's amazing that Star State was decided to release this on their on their on their website for free even. So I'm very very happy that I can be able to play this again. Uh, so yeah, here we are. We're gonna start off with Lisa. God, yeah, by just looking at. Uh, these four wonderful ladies it brings back so much memory I so much memories I have with these characters and I probably replayed Linda's part or episode a hundreds a hundreds of times I she was my favorite through all Starshine Legacy games it, it was amazing I was so into this world of Jorvik yeah these characters means a lot these four means a lot to me but let's let's start with episode one and see how it goes that this is gonna bring back so much memories so as you can see I have tried a little bit here just to see so everything works I can barely hear myself right now, so if I'm talking too loud into the microphone, I'm very sorry, but I... It's so li loud, and I even turned down the volume <laughs> on, on the... in my headphones, but still, it's very loud for some reason. But, uh, yeah. Introduction. Let's go. Ah, oh, this is... Ah, uh, there are times in life when you s There are times in life when something happens and you have to make a choice. And this choice will change your path in the life forever. You create your own destiny. But sometimes, just sometimes, destiny chooses you. Also, this is the first time I'm playing this game in English. I have only played this game through... All, but all four games in Swedish, so... Uh, because of her father's job, Lisa's life is upside down. Torn away from the city where she grew up, she finds herself in the remote little se seaside town of Jorvik, 
with no friends and no idea of how things work around here, she works up as much courage and strength as she can possibly possibly find, and prepares herself pre herself for her first day in this this, this strange place. Oh, oh, we are back! <laughs> I'm back! I'm back! To this nostalgic memory! God, it's so amazing! Oh, my first day of school and I don't know anyone here. I really don't want to mess up. Hmm, I need to get going. I don't want to miss class my first day in school. Uh, control Lisa by re pressing V forward. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, I know. Da -da -da. All right. Woo! And we can jump! Yes! <laughs> Look at this! Oh! <coughs> what happened? <laughs> if you want to speak to another person, go to the person you want to speak to. Yes. Continue down about pressing the left mouse button again. And star. Like I said, I can barely hear myself. Hello. If you're looking for the register's office, it's the door to the right of the trophy cabinet. All right. Is anyone there? Just go knock on the door. The janitor is usually there. If he's not fixing this, if he's not fixing some problem. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Welcome to the toughest school in the north of Hampshire here. Tradition is strong here, and the teachers are always comparing us to the old mum is in that trophy cabinet. Aww. Jesus. What's in the trophy cabinet? Well, have a look if you want to, but it's the usual stuff. Students who became famous scientists, politicians, politicians and athletes. You know, the usual. And here! Linda! Hi, my name is Linda. Welcome to Jurvik. You haven't seen a set of keys. You haven't seen a set of keys, have you? I lost mine. No, I haven't. But if I do, I'll let you know. Okay, thanks. Well, I hope you see see you around. Okay. So, at the janitor's office. But I want to look at the cabinet there because I remember... A certain character coming up when you go here. Hmm, the school has a lot of trophies. And some are for writing competitions. <gasps> oh, there's my boy! Mrs. Sands! Hello there, young lady. I noticed you were looking at old things in the cabinets. You look like a, like a ta Taurus to me. Taurus? Yes, I am. How did you know? Tell me, do you like horses? Aww. I used to ride a lot. Why do you ask? Who are you? You can call me Mr. Sands, and I sense that you were once hurt by a horse, am I right? Dude, you're weird. Well, little redhead. Well, little redhead, I'm sure we will meet again. Yuck, that guy gives me the creeps. Better stay away from him. I wonder who he is. Hey! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm curious to know where he's going. Oh, you're going to class with that other guy. Alright. Oh, you walked into each other. Okay. Alright, okay. Let's go to the janitor's office here. The note says, be right back. Oh, there's Anne! Hey, are you new here? Just want to... Just what kind of, kind of fashion statement is that? Maybe you, you think it's fake. Chic. D don't mind me. <laughs> but trust me, it's not. I'm Anne, by the way. But I'm sure you knew that. As a, new, as a newcomer, knowing who is important and who is not is critical. Hmm, I guess that would make you important, right? Don't be stupid. Of course I'm important. Anyway, I think you need to find a hairstylist. What is that? 
Punk or grunge? Or what? It's just my hair. Sorry you don't like it. Tell you what, sweetie. I can help you, but I need a small favor. The guy over there by the pillow next to the library is Josh. He's very interested in me for obvious reasons, but that hasn't worked up enough quicker. But hasn't worked up enough courage yet to ask for my cell phone number. Uh, if you run over, if you run over and give him him my number, I will help help you. Sure. Hello, Josh. Hi, you're the new girl, right? I saw you arriving in Jorvik the other night. I really like your hair. All the other girls here just look look the same. Oh, thanks. Well, I was supposed to give you this. Oh, a phone number. Ants? I thought it was yours. Ah, oh, never mind, thanks. He wanted my number. Wow. Maybe I should have give it, given it to him. He'll... Well, well, too late now. I guess I made him a little mad. Alright. So, let's go back to Anne. Well done, rock girl. I hope your appearance didn't scare him off. So you want to know where the janitor is? He is on the second floor just left of the stairs, talking to Sabine, the most stuck up girl in school. If I know her right, she will stand there yapping forever. Okay, I don't need to talk to you anymore. Uh, whoa, Alex! Whoa, what's this? The girl from the big city? Heck yeah. And uh, there they are. I bet that's Mr. Graham. The teacher who everyone told me about. And the janitor is standing behind her. How am I gonna p get past her? Sneaky, sneaky, Madame. sneaky. Madam, hold it right there, young lady. Where do you think you're going? There's no running, running around here unless you're going to class. And you don't even have your books with you. Off you go. Don't make me tell you again. Do I need books just to walk around the school? Certainly. This is a civilized school. And if you're not going to class, you can just run around all over the place. I guess we have to find books now. I see some stars here and there. I, need, I think I need to get these. These stars are just are just fun to, to to collect, but in the ep episode four, uh, when we play as Alex, God, it's so loud. When we play as Alex, these stars will help us a lot. Uh, okay, so. We need to find some books. I think I was talking to different people. If you have any help with schoolwork, you can talk to them. Uh, sounds like a smart girl. Jeez. How am I ever going to make it to the new, new school? Okay, so. Are we going back to Linda now? Apparently? Maybe? Again? No, you're just saying the same stuff again. Top of school. Okay, so I need to find some stuff. Maybe I need to talk to Alex again? No? You can say other. Wait, who do you talk to about? Who are you? You don't really look like you're from your. Don't let Mrs. Graham catch you. Is she very straight? You can say that again. We call her the Wicked Witch of Yorvi. But is it there? And? Well, oh, there. Well, it proved a little more difficult than I thought. Let me guess, you can't get there because Miss Graham is stopping you all the time. You need books to get past her, past her you know? I guess so. Well, I never carry my books myself, but I guess you'll have to. Tell you what, go talk to Miss Einstein over there. There. Uh, her name is Linda, and she has she has more books than the Jorvik Library. Okay, so now we go to Linda. Hi. Oh, it's great that you need to borrow some books. 
I have two or three copies of each textbook for every class to make different notes and in, in and so on. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks, Linda. That would be great. Oops, there's just one problem. I get I can't get into my locker because I lost my keys. The janitor will be absolutely furious if he finds out that the school keys are are unaccounted for. Well, I guess Alex could help us. Could help us. She's right over there between the, between the stairs. She's more capable than any boy I've ever seen. When it comes to screws, metal, or anything me mechanical, she does a she does a better job than anybody anyone else. Go over and ask her if she can help us out. Let's do that. Hello, Alex. So, how can I help you? <laughs> she, her feet is like dancing around. Uh, so, how can I help you? I don't think you want to hang with me and the boys. I saw you talking to the Princess Anne a little while ago. If you hang up, if you hang with us too much, I don't think that supermodel wannabe will talk to you again. Oh. Well, actually, I could use some help. And I hear you're not the, not the, the, God, I can't read. But actually, I could use some help. And I hear you're the one to talk to. Mm -hmm. I hope you're not gonna start crying now, city girl. I really don't like that whole sob, sob feel sorry for me because I'm such a cute girl. I miss this Alex. <laughs> I miss all these characters, all personality sometimes, but I guess they have to make it more family friendly or kid friendly. Let's make a deal. Show me, you show me that you got some guts unlike all the other girls around here and I crack the locker. But you need to catch me first. Okay, that will be easy. There. Oh, I didn't read. I clicked through. I'm sorry. Let's see. It's open. And there are the books. Take them. What's this? Sabine's cell phone in Linda's locker? That's really strange, but I guess I can give it to her. I saw her over, over by the janitor. Okay, take it and give it to Sabine. Lisa, you're okay. Well, I hope you see you around. If you like writing, both Linda and I go, go to the stables almost every day. There. And let's go to... Sabine over here in her school clothing. As a school employee, you all ought to listen to me as you know how much my father has done for this school. The grand clock has been restored thanks to his donation. It's very simple, I'm telling you. That Linda girl is a thief. She stole my cell phone and I demand that you have to look in her locker. I'm sure you, I'm sure you are going to find my cell phone there. I think you overreacted, Sabine. I'm not overreacting. Now do as I tell you or you may be out, out of a job. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I found this phone in the hall. You're Sabine, right? Oh, but that's not possible. Hmm. Okay. Oh, thanks. But you should mind your own business in the future. And she just dropped a big key. <laughs> Why don't you pick... Why don't you pick up the keys that Sabine dropped? I will. Maybe it's Linda's missing set of keys. Well, I only work here, but that Sabine is trouble, I tell you. A lot of things are going on here. Well, I'm well, I'm supposed to talk to you and get you signed in. And you're the new girl. Lisa, am I right? I'll help you out with the formal, form, formal teeth. Please, follow me to the reg registrar's office and we'll get you registered. And remember to return the keys to Linda. He used to sing. He, he, he used to like dum 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 dum. Here we go, Lisa. All things are in order and here is the key to your locker and your books. Remember, you need to be in room 5 for your first class. Alright, level 1 completed! Alright! 
Should I continue with the next one, maybe? Let, let's do Jorvik stables. Filled with impressions from her first day in school, Lisa br braces herself and walks up to the Jorvik stables. The memory of horseback riding as a kid feels va vague compared to the memory of falling down, in injuring herself. She takes a deep breath and heads for the stables to return to return Linda's keys. Why are the colors so weird? They used to be more colorful. Like... <laughs> I know it's nostalgic, but I don't want the nostalgic filter. <laughs> okay, so this is the Jorvik stables. What a place. Well, I... Well, I have to find Linda who really... Who really helped me out earlier today to return her keys. And there we see Anne and Concord. But they have made the game a bit prettier like this. It was a little bit blurred back in the day. A little bit unclear, but now it's very clear. So that's great. Oh, there you are. I had no idea you were interested in riding too. This is my horse, Concord, the finest stallion on the lot. By the way, by the way, there, where are you, where are you all flirted with Josh? No, not really. By the way, have you seen Linda? I think I saw Linda a little while ago. Have you tried the stables? I don't like the Concord. It's so stiff here. <laughs> Khan is the fastest horse around, and I demand to be listed as the top rider for the upcoming competition. What are you doing here, city girl? The Jorvik Stables has over a year's waiting list, so you, so you can forget about riding, riding here with us. Sabit is right, the school is full, unfortunately. I would love to make room for, for you, but right now it's not possible. Please have a look around the stables and make yourself at home. If you're looking for Linda, you might want to try the stables. She she helps out in there, taking in inventory of supplies. Little red riding hood. Don't get in cars in my way. Well sorry to upset you. Not really though. This is truly tragic. Such a fine horse. But something isn't right with him. What's wrong with him? His name is Starshine. He has, he has the potential to be the fastest horse in Jorvik. But he seems to have lost his willpower. Willpower. He won't eat, drink or let anyone near him. It's really too bad. I think we might have to put him down. Oh god. Who are you? Who said that? Hello? Come closer to the box. I'm here in the dark. Sunshine, you are really beautiful. You are beautiful, but how can I hear you? In my head. I don't know, girl, but I understand you too. Scary stuff. Please help me. Something is destroying me from the inside. A dark power. But I don't know what it is. I'm sure I can get back in the ring if someone like you will help me. What is this? How can I understand what this horse named Sunshine wants? I must help him. I need to talk to Mr. Herman now. Oh, there comes Linda. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it was like, nope. <laughs> She's there. Hello, Linda. Hello. Hey, Lisa. Nice to see you here. I didn't know you were, you were interested in riding. Oh. Actually, I came here to return your keys. Thank you so much for helping me out today. But I think that Sabine has a gro has a grudge against you. Yeah, I don't know what her problem is. I'm half suspect suspecting that she stole my keys and planted her phone in my locker to get me in trouble. Aww. I don't know her, but I wouldn't be. But it wouldn't surprise me. Hey, listen, I need to get Sergeant into the ring to prove his worth, or he might be put down. The problem is that I haven't been riding in years, and I don't know if I can still do it. Aww. Don't worry, Lisa. I believe in. Believe in yourself, and it will work out fine. <laughs> Just believe in yourself. 
just walk up and just jump on the horse and you just magically know what to do. What can I do for you, young lady? I'm asking you to give me uh, asking you to give Starshine and me a chance. Everyone everyone here thinks he's no good, but I'm sure I can show them that he's as good as anyone. Something tells me you actually could pull this off, little girl. Lisa, is it? I'm sure we can find you some running gear and get Sunshine out in the smaller paddock. Okay, so you just bloodily <laughs> dressed a stranger to jump on your horse. Well, we got Sunshine ready for you. If you can make him come around, I promise you a spot in the riding school and a good future for Sunshine. You're going to fail big time, girl. girlfriend. <laughs> Ignore her, Lisa. Just take it easy and everything will be fine. Go, girl. Don't let Sabine get, get away with that. Oh, Starshine. Star shine. Something bad must have happened to you. I tried to make it better. For some strange reason, I feel connected with you, even though I can't hear you anymore. Maybe I just imagine your voice. Oh, there is Mr. Sands. The dark presence feels stronger now. You must help me. Strange. It started when that creepy Mr. Sans appeared. Alright. Poor horse. Starship seems to be very nervous, Lisa. Before mounting him, you have to calm him down. I don't think you know how to take care of a horse. Don't listen to her, Lisa. Just stay close to Starship and pat him, pat him a few times. Yes, we know that. I just want to look at my audience here. No pressure at all. Uh, where is the pet? There. This must be new. I can't remember. I remember it was... You were petting his head, not at the side like this. That is excellent, Lisa. Maybe there's a normal horse in there just waiting to get out. Try to mount him and see if we can take him for a couple of rounds in the paddock. Hello. You lucky city girl. I'm sure you'll hit the ground faster than I can say. White trash princess. Oh. Hello. Ouch. I thought it was the white trash princess, but... Princess... <laughs> Bleh. Precious. Just ignore her, Lisa, and go. Please, Starshine, for both of us' sakes. Don't freak out on me. I'll try not to, but keep that man away from me. It's like I can see. It, it's like I can't see properly. Yes. And mount. Oh, oh, this is a little bit too close. Control Starshine by pressing V forward. Da, da, da. A, da, da, da. S is back. You can always stop Starshine by pressing X. This is too close. Why is the why am I so close to the ho to these two? I remember to I remember that it was a bit further away. Very nice. Now this one they come over here so we can talk. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, they changed that because I think you were clicking the right mouse button for. Hello. That was indeed impressive, Lisa. I think you and Starshine have taught us all our lesson. I think it may be a good idea to take Starshine into the big paddock to see what he can really do. Well, trotting around is one thing, but that wreck of a horse is not is nothing compared to Khan. Mm -hmm. Let's take it easy, Starshine, and I'm sure this will work out fine for us. It's strange. I've been afraid of riding ever since I was ten, but I don't feel that with you. Hey, Lisa, I have to leave for the li library. library. I'll call you later. Good luck in the large paddock. This is the large paddock where the competitions are held. Hmm. I'm telling you, the closest you'll come to the competition is a is a spectator. 
So don't even dream about a city girl. Remember, you have to make Stosh and Gallop before you jump over the bar hurdles. If not in Gallop, he'll refuse to jump over. Go, Lisa, go! I wish- oh! Okay, maybe like this then. And call him down. Now I want to go up there. No, I don't want to pet him. There. Oh, okay, now I understand. Yes. Let's see how good I am at this. It's going great so far. We are all very impressed. Dismount, Starshine, and come over here, Lisa. Hello? I feel something bad is about to happen. The white horse is indeed fast. This is fantastic, Lisa. You and Starshine have not only earned a position at the school, but also a spot in the competition this weekend. Mm -hmm. And when you and when you compete against Khan and me, this white White cow won't look so fast. Oops. What's wrong with Star- <laughs> Oops. What's wrong with Starshine? Look at him. Starshine is very nervous again, Lee. Lisa, you seem- You seem to be the only one who can calm him down. Try to pet- Pet him again. But he will fall. Oh my god, such a drama queen. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh no! Get up! Help me, Lisa. This is what I feared. Oh. Tell me what to, what to do, Sasha. I'll do anything. I don't know, but I feel that you're the only one who can help me out of this mess. How? No. Sasha is hurt. Help me. Let's get his, this fine horse back to his box and I'll get the vet to look at him immediately. Oh. Here we are. This is very troubling. I can't figure out the nature of this injury, but it's obvious that this horse is in pain. You surprised me today, Lisa. You could obviously reach Starshine in a way that I haven't seen anyone do in a long time. What do you mean, Mr. Herman? Some people say that there are special Some people say that there are special people who have been chosen to communicate with horses. Maybe you're the one maybe you're one of these people. Some say that these people have other powers as well. Do you think I can help Starshan when the wet can't? Look inside yourself, Lisa, and maybe you can do something that we can't. Let let me see that leg, Starshine. I'm going to try something. It's so strange, Lisa. The darkness that is sh choking me almost disappeared. You're almost there, Lisa. Don't give up. Oh. There you two came. <laughs> I can feel your powers, but it's not enough, Lisa. I'm sorry, Starshine. I can't do it. There's something I need to learn or find out, out if I'm going to be able to help you. I felt I was close too, but I'm just too weak. This horse couldn't even manage a simple ride in the rain, and this is what you want the superior Khan and me to be competing against? Put him to sleep so this school won't have the embarrassment anymore. That's out of the question, Sabine. I saw a wonderful horse out there earlier today, and we are going to take care of him, especially if he's hurt and needs help. Maybe I can offer a solution. My name is Mrs. Sands, and I represent the represent people who are interested in helping me helping me the horses I'm willing to pay you a ha handsome price for the for the poor horse and you will break these girls hearts by putting it to sleep mm. I'm sorry Mrs. Hans I won't sell this horse but I won't kill it either now I must ask, ask you to leave please very well your passion is come is come commendable but I bid you good but I bid you good day. But we will meet again. 
All right. Oh, Southern. Yes, hello. Hey, Lisa. It's it's Linda. Come over to the library at school. I did I did some research and came across some very interesting things. The school library. Level two completed, and that's where where we end the epi the this episode. If you want to see more, please. <laughs> like 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 this video and or comment of what you think of, of uh, my playthrough and if you want to see more and i'll see you next time bye